especially for you. That might not be enough for the crew. <laughs> Wait! Says <laughs> <laughs> one cooking skills are questionable. She wants some one on one. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. one on one. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I would take it said? to the desert island. He said, I love Misha. Yeah. There's no planting without me. I don't want to be shared with anybody else but Misha. Planting, plantain. Plants. As long as I'm not cutting my arm off, I'm all right. Mm. Sometimes the heat is too hot for certain people, so. Can you have the heat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm Jay, this is Eat of Eden, and we are leading the Veganolution. Eat of Eden is giving you your vegan cuisine, but with that Caribbean culture that we all know and love. Gone are the days of super salads and kale. It's not about that anymore. It's about feeling good and looking good from the inside out. Now, each episode, I've got a special guest. We will be cooking. Yeah, I say that with a little bit of hesitation because I'm not a chef. I'd say I'm mediocre at a push, I'm not going to lie. But I am going to be learning, I'm going on this journey because I'm a bit of a flexitarian. I flex between different diets, but I am really interested in veganism and this new culture, this new society where we're living in, where, you know, everyone wants to be feeling good and looking good. So I'm going to be inviting a host of special guests. We're going to be having a chat. We're going to be getting our cook on and we're going to be getting our plate rated by the Eat of Eden bosses. So stay watching if you want to find out how that turns out. Right, let's see who this episode's special guest is. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a clue. Singer, songwriter, and now artist. It's only Misha B. Hey. Hello, lovely. Thank you for joining us. We're at East of Eden in Shepherd's Bush. Have you been to this branch before? Never. But have you been to Eat of Eden before? Of course. Of course, okay, so you know the menu's bad. Mm -hmm. You know it's vegan goodness. Levels. But the difference is, we're not eating it, we're cooking it as well. This is it. This is it. It's, it's a bit techy. Are you ready? Ready, born ready. <laughs> Misha. Damn. Vegan goodness. Mm. How are you on the scale? What is your current diet situation like? You know, I always tell people I'm a flexitarian. What do you know about a no. flexitarian? Listen, I've been saying flexitarian for the longest because you know you've got to flex between a little mm. bit of meat, a little bit of fish, a little bit of fish. I'm here. Here's where I'm at. I'm like pescatarian vegan, pescatarian vegan. Okay. I can't go without fish for too long. You can't go without fish? Yeah. It's okay, if there's one fish you had to eat for the rest of your life, what fish would it be? Sea bass. Oh, a nice bit of sea bass. Yeah. I think that'd be a salmon. Really? Because I like bones and all that. Okay. I don't want to be like picking out all the bones, like in snapper and all that. Well, this is, snapper's a bit crazy when it comes to the bones. It's wild, isn't this it? This is what I'm saying, and you have to, it's quite techy. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not down for that. I'm not down mm. for that. But don't worry, fish is not on the menu today. It's all about vegan goodness. We're at Eat of Eden. They are leading the Veganolutions. What are your cooking skills like? I'm on my way. On your, on your way? On okay. my way. That's good because I'm still waiting at the bus stop, not oh, going to lie. Gosh. No, I, I say that. My skills aren't terrible, mm -hmm. but when it comes to cooking vegan food, which is still very new to me on this whole journey, yeah. I'm not sure if they are going to be top of the line. So we can only we can only hope for the best. Mm -hmm. But I've got you on my team, so I'm ready for We're it. We're good to go. Obviously, we know you from your X Factor days and just how you killed it. But coming out from that, you're also an artist. I've been seeing you on the gram, made by Misha. Check that out if you haven't already, because you're an artist now as well. Like, how, how did that come about? So, I think lockdown and heartbreak brought it out of me. Okay. I found myself just trying new things. Yeah. I um, helped my nephew make his, like, canvas and poster for his brand. Okay, yeah. In, after that, I was like, okay, I need a release. I need some form of escape. So I tried it, and the first piece, I put on my story, and I just got loads of messages, and I was like, huh? And then I sold my fir first piece, and I was like, oh, so this this is how easy Ca it is. Ca casually, I just, I just sold my first piece after just starting lockdown, by the way. <laughs> Big up to you, giving me all of that black girl magic. Mm. We love to see it. Let's okay. get our cooking on. Are you ready to get ready, into it? Ready, one, ready. Right, we are in our finest dinner lady gums. Making it fashion, I'm not gonna mm. lie, making it fashion. Mm. We're gonna start the cooking, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. So, on the menu today, we have got chickpea curry. We have got mock pork. It's, it's, not, it's not any pork round here, it's the mock version. Mm -hmm. Brown stew jackfruit. Yes, yes. I don't know what a jackfruit yes. is. No, I do know what it is. <laughs> My dad's gonna cuss me, but if I saw it walking down the street, I would probably walk past it. But brown stew, me and brown stew, we have an insatiable bond. I don't care if it's fish, I don't care if it's chicken, I don't care if it's brown stew vegetables. 
So brown stew jackfruit, I'm here to try it, I'm here to try it. When it comes to chickpea, aki, how are you feeling about those? Aki is one of my favourites. My first time eating at Eat of Eden, I tried the chickpea and that's when I fell in love, so I said, mm. Today. See, that's why I we're will. here. We're going to actually learn to cook it. Like, that's what makes this so sick. Mm -hmm. Because normal cooking skills, it's fair enough. But when it comes to like vegan cooking, you can't just jump in like, oh yeah, I'm going to be vegan. Sure. Like you actually have to have some planning and some mm -hmm, prep. Because mm -hmm. you try that and you're just not going to survive. You're going to... You're going to get in... You're, you're going to go drown. into shock, planting. Plant. Mm. Top tier. Yeah. Like, like you and brown stew. Is you and planting. There's no planting without me. I like it, the planting. We're not we're not going with the plantain. You know, life's long battle. Planting, plantain. Planting. Planting for real. Mm. So even with, even in the Manchester flex, yeah, we're still planting. saying planting. Yeah, planting. Or planting. Where I'm from is like my side. Heavily, heavy, heavily cultural. Yeah. Um, the high streets are like vegan central. Okay, so everything's buzzing. Mm -hmm. But do you have a vegan there? Not quite, but we'll, so this is it. This is it. what I'm saying. Going to be expanding. Let the seeds be sown today. The seeds are being sown today. So when you see one pop up in Manchester, just, mm. just thank me, Shabir, yeah? We've got the potatoes here. Yes. We need to part boil them. Mm -hmm. They've been peeled. Everything's been washed. Just Wash your hands. Yeah. You just need to chop them up. You can do slice. You can make them into fat chips, wedges. It just depends, however. Okay, so you're clearly like the leading chef not around quite, here today. Not quite, not quite. But we have got some professional help. Chef Shalave is going to give us some guidance now and then. All right, so basically, like, as you said already, we're going to part boil it, but they're actually for roasting. So all we're going to do is basically cut it into sixes, all right? So we're just going to cut it through the middle. One. Boom. That one's look a bit big. It won't be fair to some people, so yeah, and that's it. This is going to be like one of our side dishes that we're going to have with our mock pork, our chickpea curry, our ackee, planting, the brown stewed jackfruit. I keep wanting to call it a grapefruit, but it's really not that. It's a jackfruit. I'm excited to see what this is going to taste like. I feel like the UK was just really late to like yep, yep. making vegan dishes. Well, when we really think about vegan, we think about like Ital food, isn't it? That's it's, no, it's always been this like is, that. This is it. They didn't have like the stereotype attached to it. Exactly. Of no, all the hipsters that are now feeling it. Exactly. But that's fine. Because I'm glad we got Eat of Eden here. Right. To be able to, you know, bring that back take to us, earth. Mm -hmm. Take us take us back to mm -hmm. the roots sometimes. Mm -hmm. As you said, you're flipping to be more of a pescatarian. For me, what it is is once I learn to make or oh, at least twenty to thirty Solid vegan meals, I'm good to go. That's it, you've gone clear. Yeah. Well, today, what you should at least have what? Four, four, four in the bag? Exactly, exactly. So, this is just kickstarting your On the journey. way, on the way. Oh, I can't even remember already. Look at that. That's probably not the way that you've done it just then. This so, my it. cooking skills are questionable. Oh. Right, so these are going in the brown stew, mm -hmm. and I've been told to chop them down the middle. You got this, you got this. I've got this, I hope I got this. I find that the cherry tomatoes taste different from the bigger ones. I don't know, it's, it's a texture for me, like, it's hard, but when I bite into it, why is it soft and juicy? Like, why is it such a juxtaposition? Mm. But then I love ketchup, like, so much, like, I can't eat without ketchup, so... It's really questionable. I don't mm. like bits and pips, but I know this is gonna be essential in the brown stew, so I'm gonna let it run. Fruit-wise, what do you like? Okay, so fruit-wise, I like strawberries. Yeah. But then I saw that video the other day, do you wanna do this side? Go on. Mm. Of, you know, like, when you put them in salt and then the mad thing was coming out oh of it. Oh my days, I've so seen that it. put me off. Well, that's with everything, you know. I know it's with everything, but I think because it was so brutal with oh. the strawberries, now I'm always leaving them in salt and I'm just not even thinking about the bugs that I've probably eaten beforehand. Jesus. I like pineapples. Mm. I like melon. Mm -hmm. Love a mango. Love a mango. We do love a mango. A kiwi, surprisingly. What do you mean? You know what? I think kiwi and pineapple have the same thing that just hurt your mouth after a bit. They do. I, I do admit they do have that, but they are great fruits to have. When it comes to, obviously, your singing, obviously, your voice, your yeah. throat, it's just essential. Is there anything that you do in prep, like how people drink lemon tea and water and all that kind of stuff? Like I think water is essential just in life in general, but um, I always try and have like a hot drink. I think peppermint and gi oh, ginger, ginger tea is really good. And I also I steam. It's important to steam your vocals. All right, now this is the mock pork. Mm -hmm. We don't do meat round here, mm -hmm. so this is a mock alternative. Yeah. Looking at it, what vibes is it giving you? Tripe. <laughs> I don't like tripe. Me I don't either. like tripe. But it's not going to taste like tripe. It's going to taste like soy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't even a proper smell. That was a fake smell. 
Look, like this bit looks like some real braille going on. You know, mm. like... Fine design. Fine design. This is it. Yeah. This is what the mock meat does. Yeah, this is wild. Right, have you got this? You got this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. I love, I love the confidence in me. You're doing great, sis. I'm getting more comfortable with these with these big chopper knives. They're bad, the best, you know. They cut through anything. Yeah. As long as I'm not cutting my arm off, I'm all right. Mm. So, Misha. Yes, hon. Those vocals of yours, mm -hmm. was you born like that? Was it Maybelline? You know, <laughs> how, how did it come about? Because you've been hitting notes. I remember I remember so clearly like watching you on The X Factor and just thinking, wow, like this girl can sing. So like, how did that all start for you? I, I would say it's come from my mum. My mum's an incredible singer. Okay, so um, it's in the family. Yeah, um, however, I always had confidence issues, so I struggled for, with like performing. You struggled with performing? No, I struggled with performing, so I um, I had really bad stage fright. How did you combat that on a, on a live national television show? So prior to me going on the show, I um, would busk in the town centre. Okay. Um, and busking, it was like literally throwing myself in the deep end. Is that so, scary? Yeah. Just on the, on the, on the roadside singing? This is it. Well, it's in like the town centre, but yeah, of course. But you know what it was? I knew what the the vision was in it. Okay. I knew that in order for me to take the next couple of steps, I had to overcome this fear of just performing. Mm -hmm. um, I used to actually perform with my back turned to people. Oh my yeah. God, that's so cute. So it then wasn't. to see you with your back turned, well, no, not cute for you experience yeah. it, but to see you and the progression that you've made is just yeah. insane. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, fear. I always used to watch like motivational videos mm -hmm. and I remember the saying, it was like, fear is false evidence appearing real. Yeah. Right, I like that one. And then when I thought about it, I was like, well, what's on the, on the other side of all this? You know, so then when I did take the leap and just start building up the confidence, mm -hmm. I was just like, wow, is this what I've been missing? And then I just fell in love with the stage. My goal in my very early years of college was like to become like one with the stage um, and to just like master my craft. So I'm still on my on my way and I think that's a beautiful, beautiful thing about like when you're mastering your craft, it's a journey in it. So you're never completely there. Not Always stay open to learning. And, and sharpening your tools. Right, so this is our jackfruit mm. that we're gonna brown stew it up. Mm -hmm. Now, the chef has helped us season this a little bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell like a fruit should smell like. Mm, it smells, smells good. Divine. But do you have pineapple on pizza? Mm. Do you like hot fruit? No. Not at all, but this is gonna be in a brown stew, so I'm very excited to see how that's gonna be and see what vibe I'm gonna be getting. Turn over. Right, so what do we season this with, Misha? Let's test your memory. All purpose, well that's garlic. Yep. All purpose, mixed herbs, boyam, in-house special. And some and soy. soy. soya. Yeah. This is it, and it's just already smelling good. So you what? know when it smells good before it goes in the pot, you just know it's going to taste better than bad when it comes out. Mm, what? Badder than who? Badder than bad. <laughs> that's, the, that's the B at the end of me should be, by the way. That's where it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> the end of last year, mm -hmm. you went viral on socials when you talked about your experiences as a black woman within that environment on TV. Yeah. Do you mind sharing a little bit of an insight to that? Around the, the time that George Floyd had passed away, I um, I was just conflicted, like deep sadness, just anger, so many mixed emotions. And, um, you know, there were several conversations that were coming up, you know, some in-house conversations for me with my girls. And, you know, um, it just like, I always, I always um, consider myself to be spirit led. So like when spirit talks to me and says, move or leads me to do certain things, I do them. Do it. Um, and at the time it just felt like it was the right time to just speak about my experience on the show, you know? And I, and I held it for so many years, just out of Because when was fear. it, 2011? 2011, yeah. And now in 2020? This is it, well, 2020 last year. Um, and it was mad because everybody, all of my closest, they knew what what happened, and mm -hmm. you know. But it's like I wasn't I wasn't the type of person to just I'm not not really a lab amount like that. If I said what is that, 
it's given me chicken vibes. Even the mock chicken vibes that we cooked when we had our last guest on. This is this is exciting me. What we're gonna do now is we're just basically gonna saute our ingredients. We got the mock pork, we got the onions, and we got tomatoes. We're gonna have a bit of time and then we're gonna season it. I, it's gonna take longer to brown this up than okay. the onions. Yeah. So all we wanna do is just more or less coat it on the outside. We're gonna move it around like this. Okay. The so Wowsy does that, so you've changed your number, right? Bring me up to speed. Yeah. The responses that you're getting, I'm seeing, you know, Talisa Judge get involved, I'm seeing like little mixed comments get involved. How did you maneuver through all of that and were you able to kind of take on what they said in relation to what you shared? I had to, for me, prayer carries me through, through life. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the time, our, our flesh wants to react to it. Our flesh yeah. wants to go on wicked and bad. <laughs> wicked and bad. But. When, when your spirit knows better, you have to do better. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I was conflicted because in, in one breath I'm like, well, you know, people weren't being honest about things. And, and then I had to just remember why I spoke in the first place. It wasn't, I didn't speak for any, any response. Yeah. I spoke my truth to share and educate and to, to offer some kind of empowerment and, and just a, a safe space to just share and I think it did much more than I even expected even though I didn't have any expectations for it I just didn't expect the outpour of love um, from the, the women in our community women in other communities as well the love in the community though was yeah. very very strong yeah it was strong and as black women I think it's more than ever it's a time for us to like to come together, to come around each other, definitely, and to really support each other. Mm -hmm. was, that, was that true for you? Yeah, definitely. I even saw like the young, kind of the next generations after us also coming through and just kind of amplifying your voice. How did that feel? It it was um, it was overwhelming the um, the outpour of love. I think you know I was I was truly truly uplifted, man. I think sometimes when you you share so much and you allow yourself to yeah. be open, it's like oh shoot. I, just, I felt very naked um, okay, I hear that. and just to be naked but still embraced. Prior to that, my grandma had passed away. I'm so sorry for your loss. Life is forever lifing and it made me, it changed my perspective on death. Mm -hmm. um, I believe spiritless forever. My grandma, she left a legacy. She stood for truth. She honoured her community in her truth mm -hmm. and she was just a woman of, of great value and virtue and you know she sounds phenomenal yeah she really really was you know she was 95 when she passed 95 it, this is it and so it made me look at my life like how are you honoring the, the life of a black woman yeah how are you honoring the legacy of the black woman and the black woman that i am you know when i think about my grand she honored the legacy of the black woman and then it made me think well what are you not being honest about and my honesty was you know it was it was, um, my honesty was, it was crippled by fear, you know, and I had to just get over that and just share my truth. What would be your advice for the next generation of black women that are going into these establishments, that are going onto these entertainment shows and trying to make careers for themselves in the music industry? Always um, be clear with your intentions before you even make any decisions. Because mm -hmm. when you know your intention, going into it, your your vision, it can't really be swayed. All right, so the newness is a bit agave, yeah. a bit of injavita, nutritional yeast, and a tad of scotch bonnet, because I have to be conscious of everybody else's palate. So, well, right? when you say conscious, you just mean Jay don't like spice, so she can't handle it. So I didn't call no names, so I didn't call no names. All right, say with my chest. So certain people, Jay, we're not gonna call no names, Jay. <laughs> Yes, they don't like hot stuff, but Jay, we're gonna give you a little bit, all right, Jay? <laughs>
These are the potatoes that we so talentedly chopped up. We part boiled them and now they're ready to go in the oven. I'm seeing a little more seasoning than we had. So we've got our onions, our potatoes. What has gone on them to make them? Just a little mix of herbs, some all person's purpose seasoning and a little bit of garlic rain. And that's it. I know right there, I know. <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes the heat is too hot for certain people, so. Can you handle the heat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch what it gets in your throat at the back. It's not a great experience. I just want to get some water for one second. It's and not, it's trying, to, trying to sit in my chair. The problem is, no, catch me up. You're not being left out. No, All we're doing was just make sure it doesn't stick. That was it. All right, what's next, Chef? What's next? So now we're just going to put the potatoes in the oven to bake for her. So she didn't put any scotch bonnet in there. She wants some one on one. Some one on one. <laughs> Okay, so all we're gonna add in the chickpeas is a bit of um, red onion, scallion, and a bit of red pepper just to give it color and fresh thyme. You like a bit of heat, darling. So I know what you like to work with cooking now, yeah. but what do you like to work with in the studio at home? Because you just you can just burst out to song at any time. Is your life like a walking <laughs> musical? If I'm with my with my friends that that are vocalists or like artists, we do. We do do that. You do do that. Not like on a regular, it just depends on the vibe. I just find it like, it's, just, it's like dialogue in it. Okay. It, you add melodies and I always say, surrender to spirit, spirit will lead you. I'm loving this. Yeah. The spirit is definitely guiding us today. Of course. A, a bit of Chef Chalet. <laughs> We taste it, not eating it all. Wait, don't don't turn away. You better you better say it again for the people in the back. This is so fire. This is nice. It's very nice. Why? Yes, it's I know what it is. It's coming in there. <laughs> you guys are trying to dead me off. It's so good that I'm going to let uh, it slide. But I, don't, I, but I don't know about I don't know about the rest of the rest of the series, Shalé. You're going to keep doing me like this. So apparently it was a bit too hot. The kitchen is too hot for certain people. Jay, we're not wow. gonna call them names, Jay, but it's okay. Wow, chef. Wow. Okay, so basically we just been up the curry sauce for the chickpeas, all right? Okay. So we're just gonna add some coconut cream. So basically it depends on how thick you want your coconut I mean, your chickpeas to be. And some people like it a bit more thicker. Okay. So it's not just spreading all around the plate, mm. but it's where you put it to. And that's how I like to present it. See, they're on the same way. We got you. Misha, are you with us? I'm with you. You sure? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Let's Catch crack on with it. it. So we're just going to build this up. If we want to bring our seasons over, just so we can start to season it once yeah. the coconut has melted. All right, I need to cut these thinly because someone, not mentioning any names, Chef Shalave, said, Chef Shalave, that my planting was a bit too thick. Some of us are forgetting that, you know, we're not all professional chefs out here and that we're on a learning experience as we take on the Vigalution. No name, Chef Chalet. There's so many different ways to cut the plant in. There is. Um, you, but you've, you've really surprised me, Misha, because I feel like when we chatted earlier, you gave me the vibe that, you know, you was very much on this journey. And then as soon as the chef comes to the kitchen, you're giving me professional vibes, you know, so I have to cut everything, because I have to do anything. <laughs> like, I feel like you come up with, a, with another talent we didn't know about. What is going on? Do you know what it is? I think being in the kitchen with my grandparents at right, different times, you learn different things. And when you're in the kitchen on your own, you apply those things. I, t I told you, me and planting have a very special relationship. It's one that I don't expect a lot of people to understand. No, I fully understand Did you. Did you hear what he said? I love Misha. Oh, did he? Did he? Yeah. Did he? Did you did hear he what he Misha? said? I don't want to be shared with anybody else but Misha. This one, this one's talking to me. What? This one called me and said, Jay, don't worry about planting one over there because what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be just for you. No, but chef, one minute that was like a cream color and now it's looking very curry licious. Well, so what did we do? A bit of curry powder, some garlic powder, some ginger powder, some bouillon, and angelita. I think it's safe to say that it's going well so far. Misha's just on her own thing, not gonna lie. She's checking the part. She's, I think you, you're graduating from the Vigalution very, very quickly. You might be scoring very, very well when it comes to getting our plates rated or slated. Brown shoe it's finished. is finished. This is on its way. So we're just acting and planting and then we're good to go, right? Onion and peppers. Me, Shabby, in the kitchen, usually on stage, usually singing. Okay! Hard to 
Jay. What? With Jay, Chef Chalet. What? Me should be doing the team just great. Hey. We're in the kitchen. No time for missing. Yes. We're in the kitchen. Did you know? Ooh, ooh. We're in the kitchen. Eat a feed in the kitchen. No time for missing any recipes or seasonings or goodness or all <coughs> of the above. See, that's that just goes funny. Mm. That just goes funny mm. coming for you. <laughs> 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 it's going to go to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ginger you could put as much as Misha put for the garlic. And one scoop of bouillon. So, do we need the same amount of before? That's good. That's good? Yeah. Inside. Have you ever seen an Aki tree? Yeah. I actually picked Aki when I was in Jamaica last. If you don't, you mash it Aki, up. no, but not just that. If you pick um, Aki, that's not correct. It can kill you. What do you mean it can kill you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a proper skill. Wild. And just incorporate. So we want a more fold rather than stir saw. So, yeah. All right. Misha. What? Misha B. Misha mm -hmm. Badger. Misha Badger and Badger. J J. We are we are done. Slay J. Listen, we we came, we slayed. It's time to eat. Are you ready? So, I'm ready. The question to... is, is it ready for us? That, that, that's what it is. Are you ready for us? Hold oh, no, on, it's a part. He said yeah. She said yes as well. It was. And we're also going to get our plates rated or slated. So remember this presentation here. Yes, yes. The current, the current highest scores, the most highly rated ones, will be coming back for like an all-star final. So it's going to be going to make the final. Can we do this? Oh yeah, I'm Isha. It's Tony. Hey, nice Tony. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jay. How are you doing? Right, Tony, you're right, back you're again. I know, I know. Coming to uh, rate a plate. Love what you do, Misha. Absolutely love your singing, love your voice. Thank you. um, yeah, really inspired. Um, had a taste of what you did, and I've given a rating of your plate today. So here you go, Jake. So this is where it comes down to. You want to make it to the top of the leaderboard? No, no, two, it can't be two. All right, I'm ready. He's only given us a nine point. <laughs> <laughs> and on the back it says, it's is ten if you come back. <laughs> This is a very, very oh, high score. It's split. A 9.5. That means we're well on our way to being on the menu. We're well on our way to getting a bit of eating. Top of the leaderboard setting. Woohoo! You should feel so proud. This is all you. I'm Big up, me. All of us, sis. It's us, sis. But That's you've been Chef an amazing Chalet. guest. Chef Chalet has yeah, been an amazing fine. instructor. We've done the thing. Oh, I'm so happy. 9.5. 9.5. Has a nice little ring to it, doesn't it? So I asked. Big Boss Tony, what would have made it a 10? Because the 9.5 is a six score, I can't lie. He said, tell if you come back, but I wanted to know the real feedback. And do you know what he said, Misha? He said that it was a little bit spicy, a little bit scotch bonnet was in there, and the jackfruit and the ackee, which was in his throat a little bit. <coughs> That's Scotty B. I just love it. I know you do. And again, that is personal preference, but I think with the main general menu, like for the public, yeah, you want to give careful. them the option to make it spicier themselves. Because okay. you know, like, when you go to a Caribbean shop and the thing is just so hot and it's like you don't have control over it. Like that's okay, your whole yeah, meal. That's yeah. your whole meal. Dun, 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 dun. There's no like watering it down. But apart from that, we did amazing. Wouldn't you agree? It was it was wow. Can I get a wow? You can get a wow. wow. <laughs> right, we are done. We finished cooking. We've had our plates rated. Misha B, thank you so much for being an amazing guest and for also coming on this Vigolution with me. Thank you for just being the best ever. Right now I have itis. I know a good sleep with Ben is full, but I'm just I, I'm leaving here with so much more vegan knowledge, ready to chef it up for my girls. What has been your favourite thing that you've cooked today? Has it been the chickpea, the mock meat, the jackfruit, even the planting? Because I know you love planting already. But like, what has been the highlight? It was the jackfruit for me. After we um, had Chef Chalet season and then lightly fry it and taste it. The I was, difference was... I was just like, huh? It what? did not look like that bowl at the start, did it? This is what I'm saying in the taste. Like, it didn't taste like jackfruit. Now I know there's so many different alternatives. Now I know how to mm -hmm. pair it, to cook it down. 
I'm like, ain't no stopping us now, huh? It's not, and it's just having the knowledge and mm. the skill set, and just being open enough to do it. That's why I love it, Eden, because it's not only coming here and getting your food, it's actually giving you a bit of an experience too. Exactly. Like, it's not no, like, secret sauce, secret mm. everything, like, come on, like, sharing the goodness, yeah, you know what I mean? love it. Very excited for what's to come. I said, keep an eye out for that art exhibition, live showcase that we were talking about, because Misha is Sick, not only at music, at singing and songwriting and cooking now, but mm -hmm. art too. Mm -hmm. Check out her Instagram at Made by Misha if you want to see the art stuff. And your official Instagram is I am Misha underscore B. That's I am M I S H A underscore B. And tune back into the next episode for some more vegan goodness as Eat of Eden and me, Jay McGregor, take you on the vegan illusion.